What if I tell you, you can actually learn, understand, and be able to write very good proposals? I mean, upwork proposals. Sorry, let me say that again. What if I tell you, you can actually, you can actually learn, understand, and be able to write great upwork proposals? You may doubt me. Because you might think you have this thinking in your mind that, oh, this is not possible. I have tried it. I've done it. I've been there. It's not working. In fact, um, clients are not reading my proposals. Let me tell you, there are, there, there are actually a way. There is actually a way that you write a proposal that your proposal become irresistible. It means clients cannot resist reading your proposal. They cannot help it, but they have to invite you. My first job, I've never said this to anyone, my first job on Upwork, when I wrote my proposal, I submitted it. The first person that reviewed the proposal missed my proposal. They just ignored it. But somebody else came. After they have already selected the, the, the people that they want to interview, somebody else came and reviewed the proposal and then picked up my proposal and he was surprised that I was not chosen in the first group of people to interview. At the end of it all, I won that job. Your proposal is, your, is like your key to getting to an interview. And the best way to learn about proposals is for you to actually see very good examples. If you are new to this channel, my name is Jesse Kamara, and I am a professional product manager. I have been both a freelancer, a very successful one for that, for, for in that, I, I'm, I'm, I've been a, um, I'm a very successful freelancer. I don't like talking about it sometimes. I start to wear talking about it. It seems really funny to tell yourself that you are successful, but I've been a freelancer, but also I have recruited people on the platform. So I have seen both sides of the coin. I have seen really good proposals from people and I've seen bad proposal, I mean, worse proposals. So today in this video, I mean, I have created a series of videos. If you check the links on, on the, the links below on this video, I have um, attached two links, part one and part two. If you finish watching this video, I would advise you to go and watch part one and part two because it's a series of video teaching you how to write or how to become really good at writing upwork proposals. In this video today, we are going to look at two examples. I mean, really solid examples that I've seen that actually blew my mind. Writing proposals on Upwork is a technique and you need to learn it and you can actually become great at it. What you don't need to do is copy what other people are doing. Instead, understand what they are doing, watch these videos multiple times, understand what people are doing, and then create your own your own concept, come up with your own concept that stands out so that you can beat the competition no matter how strong the competition is, you can still stand out and you will hit your match and get that job done and get that job that you are looking for. All right, so I am going to share my screen and then we go in there, look at these examples of proposals. I'll walk you through, I'll walk you through some of the key things that you need to pay attention to. I'm going to show you two really good proposals so that you can learn something from them. And that's how you're going to capture the attention of clients that are looking to hire high-value um, um, freelancers. So let's get to it. Give me a minute so that I can share my screen. All right. So writing proposals is not normally a very nervous thing to do. Um, most people, they, most technical people, they, they find it very difficult to really write um, really good proposals. But like I said, it's, um, it's a nerve wrecking something. So I would, um, all right. So basically, let's look at this proposal. This is actually a proposal that's, I, I, because I'm also doing recruitment on the platform on Upwork. So I'm not going to show you the name of this person, um, the, 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 the freelancer, but I want to show you something that is really cool that he wrote. All right. I have been, re I, I posted a job and uh, many proposals came in. I've read so many of them. Some are fairly good. Others are just crazy. 
but this guy wrote a proposal that really, really um, just blew me off, you know. Let me show you. Maybe I can find the job. Uh -huh. This is the job. So I was like exploring the idea of um, faceless YouTube channels, right? So I wrote this job advert. I was asked looking for people that can help me. And then the person, um, um, if you read through this job, you can take your time. You can pause the video if you want to. You can read. But I was looking for um, certain things. First of all, I was looking for a team that has these um, criteria. I mean, let me zoom in a bit so that you see. Um, so I was looking for a team that has um, these criteria. So I'm looking for, you know, and um, I was looking for a researcher, a researcher, um, a script writer, and an editor. All right. So I wrote this. And I got a couple of um, proposals that came in. Some are really crappy, I can tell you, man. Those proposals were like crazy. I was, I was really pissed with some of the proposals. And this is what I'm telling you. Like, I'm not just recruiting for myself. I've also recruited for other clients. So sometimes the proposal that comes in, they are really crazy. And people just copy and paste. And it does not make sense. So, and then somebody sent me this proposal that caught my attention. And I think it's worth i'm sharing with my audience because i want you to learn a few things from this guy that wrote this proposal all right so what he says i ask them two questions one is describe all right let me zoom in a little bit so that you see what um this is about okay let, maybe i need to zoom out a bit so that you see the rest of the text so um i wrote there i said this is it Describe your recent experience with a similar project. I mean, like what I'm asking for, and is, here is what he said. It's very specific. Now, one thing that I really liked about this proposal that the guy wrote is that is, um, it, it, the, the proposal is value-focused. It's value-centric. It is focused on the value that I will get by hiring this team. This is the value that you will get. And that's the, the most important thing because clients want to recruit freelancers that will contribute to the development of their business. They don't want to recruit a freelancer who does not know what they are doing. They don't know what value they will add, right? So I would say, okay. All right. So I would say, sorry, guys, I was adjusting my mic. So um, I would say, Focus on providing information that tells the client the value that you will add to their business. All right. So now look what he says. We are already handling reputed YouTube channels with measurable success. We know how to make a channel from scratch. So it's tell it does not even write. There are so many people who are writing so much, they write so much rubbish. He went straight to the point. We are already handling channels that are doing well. So we know how to do this from scratch, from zero. All right. And he went on. I said, describe your typical design process or method. We are a, a full team of professionals, including. The, so he has just given me like, now here is the process. It's very specific. I can tell you, I have the propose, some of the proposals, they wrote like two pages just explaining their process. Look at what the guy wrote. It's something very simple, very short, sure, but very, very to the point. He says, um, we are a team of this. We have all of these people. We have a voice, blah, 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 all of those things, right? And then what? What do we do? After deciding the topic, you get this. Scripts and thumbnails, dash. Very specific, very straightforward, very easy for me to read. I don't have to waste my time. It's there. He killed it by just giving me this. And I'm not saying this is the best proposal you can send there, but because it is so unique compared to the other proposals that I've read, that gave me the... And he was talking about the things that I really want, what I was looking for. He actually added that, so I, I don't have a choice. That's what I'm saying. Your proposal can make the client irresistible. I didn't have a choice. I read the proposal once. I hit the, the, the message button. I messaged the guy, and the guy um, responded immediately. Because he's ready, he's determined. You can see that he knows what he's talking about. He speaks like an expert. That's what really it's that's what it means 
when you are writing proposal. I'm emphasizing these guys not because I want to blow my my mic, I want to blow my own trumpet or anything. I want to tell you what you need to write. That's how you need to write. That's how you win jobs. There is no two ways about it. If you can write proper jobs and um, um, proposals for your jobs, you can win jobs as easy as fast. You you will be the one choosing which job you want to take. Right? Look at what he said. We can deliver up to four videos um, um, a week without compromising quality. Now look at what he, and this line actually kills everything. He says, we can help you build a very successful. So he's still telling me about the value YouTube channel with our years of experience, blah, 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 blah. Now he went on and greets me. This is actually what the proposal is. Up there is just the questions up here. He just answered the two questions that I asked right but then and, and this is how the client sees your proposal so those questions that you normally ignore you don't give too much attention to those are the questions that are actually shown first to the client this is really important guys you need to pay attention to it so that's why your questions if you answer your questions with you don't answer them with um, seriousness when the client sees that they will just walk away that's another thing so now he says this is what he said we would love to write compelling and irres what, irresistible um, script. Provide studio level voiceovers, blah, 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 blah. So he's just telling me, we want to do this for you, right? This is his introduction. We will handle everything from A to Z. So they are actually telling me that we will do everything for you. Everything from A to Z. You don't need to worry. We can do everything. We have the experience. Now they gave me examples. They didn't just talk. And one thing that I like about this proposal is that it's very short. I'm not going to read everything. You, you, you can see the screen, so you can take your time to read. All right. It's very short, precise, and very, very straight to the point. It's not like babbling. It's just, we've just went there straight, tell you what they are doing, right? And then it attached useful links. It said, attach is links to one of the channels we are successfully handling, right? This channel, we can create such exceptional videos for your channel that will not only have an emotional connection so you see and this is one thing about um um, um how do you call it our uh, faceless channels right you need to think about the social the emotional connection and everything so the guy just brought out everything and then he kept on giving me some example but let me tell you the killer line here that's the killer line all right let me just let me just um, um, um give you the killer line he says we also offer our 20 minutes free consultation right and said okay now probably you don't feel comfortable maybe you need to find out more we can give you 20 minutes of free consultation i will give you free 20 minutes of free consultation on an hour consultation or i can do for you a test job as a way of telling you if you are still not convinced some people will say i can work with your team for one week Many of you don't even know that, that you can even offer to volunteer at least for a week so that you can get a job. But you don't have to write a crappy, you can tell them, please, if you still don't convince, give me a chance to work for you for a week so that you can assess my skills. And from, from there, you decide whether you want me to continue doing this job or not. Don't do it for short-term jobs, but do it for long-term jobs, especially jobs that tell you that you can work for more than six months. All right. So this is what he's saying. He wants to offer 20 minutes of free consultation, which is actually normal. I can just call them. But now he's using that as a psychology to make me feel that, okay, yes, I can talk to them. Let me see what these guys get. But he's using that against me and say, okay, I can give you free consultation. Here is the things that we are going to discuss. Very specific, methodical, and is very tactical in the way he wrote his proposal i could not resist in fact i didn't talk to any other person i just went to him straight and talked to him and it was great that i spoke to him all right so now i'm going to show you another example so that you see there is another way you can actually lay out your experience which i think is really good all right see this see how one proposal this is actually for a client all right this is a proposal that uh that um I would say I checked out for a client. I was recruited for a client and I saw this proposal. So I wanted to show you guys how does a really good 
way of i saw this as something that is really good the way you lay out your experience let's say you want to share some examples of your work right especially for developers if you're a developer this would be a very good way of doing it so he said relevant works all right relevant work experience or whatever he says about what, what what's the what's the application about maybe you can say the name of the application you can give the name of the application about the application you can write like a short sentence what this application is about right what what tech stack was this application built with what was your rule now you don't need to write dozens of lines the name of the application the, that's what it's meeting on this format the name of the application the about and then the tech stack and your rule what did you do what exactly did you build on that this is critical so you lay out like this and he also added the link so you can go and check it out tell me guys let's say you, you put yourself in the shoes of a client if you are a client and you see something like this you'll be so convinced that this person knows what they are doing and you really want to talk to them even if they do not perfectly meet meet your your criteria you will still be willing to talk to them and this is what i'm saying you don't need to proposal writing you can actually become great at it but you need to learn that's the thing you need to learn and see what is missing on these examples that jesse is explaining how can i make it better how can i stand out and that's what i want to teach you so that you understand now i'm going to show you another format all right i'm going to show you a format and then compare it to this format all right let's look at this other person look at the way he wrote the way he gave his examples look at this link it's crazy let's be honest would you compare this structure how messy this is compared to what i just showed you here what i just showed you here can you can you compare this so imagine if you are a client if you are a client would you be tempted to invite someone not that this person is not good but it's just that the way they organize their work that can set you apart you'll be more tempted to invite this other client this other freelancer than this freelancer here so my point is as a summary as a way of finishing this particular um, 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 um presentation to you guys my point is you can actually become great at writing proposals and you need to learn it from people that know what they are doing so you subscribing to this channel i can tell you i'll be it's it will be it will be beneficial in the long run it will be it will be beneficial for you if you subscribe to this channel because i'll be dropping real tips and techniques like this so that you can improve and continue to scale your business so i'll encourage you if you have your colleagues your support in sharing and commenting on this particular channel will be really, really, really um, useful and helpful, not just for me, but also for people that are looking for this information. Let's work together and bring this change to everybody and bring this information, this useful information to everybody out there so that we want more people to excel in freelancing and be able to write great um, proposals. Thank you for watching. And if you have subscribed, we want to thank you. If you have not yet, Please subscribe and share this um, 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 video in your network, in your various social media platforms. See you in the next one. And don't forget to watch the other videos that are linked to this one. Thank you.